Richard Southern joins us once again. We're talking about the more interesting stories of the day. And Richard, a new fossil discovery suggests the Loch Ness monster may have actually existed. Oh boy, Nelly himself <laughs> may, may not be just a fable after all, Erica. This is pretty uh, neat. Locals in Morocco found fossils belonging to something that looked just like the fabled Loch Ness monster is supposed to look. Uh, the fossil belongs to what they call a plethiosaur. It's a 100 million year old freshwater dinosaur. The plethiosaurs were long necked marine reptiles with small heads and four flippers. Sound familiar? Mm. They existed supposedly just during the times of the dinosaurs. Scientists had thought up until this point that the plethiosaur was a saltwater uh, dinosaur, but they found it in freshwater. And of course, Loch Ness is a freshwater lake. Rumors of the so-called Loch Ness monster started in 1933 when a couple claimed to have seen a large animal in that Scottish lake. You never know, Erica. Maybe mm. there's some sort of leftover something going yeah. on from the dinosaur era. Who knows? It evolved into something different, maybe? I don't know. Maybe vindication for all those believers. Maybe. This, <laughs> this isn't the Discovery Channel, so we're just going to leave it there. You can draw your own conclusions, Erica, okay. in the Interesting Stories report. All right. We've all come <laughs> close to nodding off at work, but most of us don't get caught on live TV. <laughs> Like Tony La Russa did, this is the 77-year-old manager of the White Sox. Uh, Eric, I want to show you Tony from last night. This is the first inning. This is the beginning of the game. Look at Tony. He's uh -oh. nodding off. Oh. Wake up, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> at least le le legitimately going out in the, the first inning of the game uh, against the Royals. Uh, it's been that type of season for Mr. La Russa and the White Sox. Uh, they enter the season with championship aspirations, but have just a 500 record. Erica, have you ever um, fallen asleep in the newsroom or anywhere else? No. Uh, kind of embarrassing? Certainly not on camera. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, no, I don't think I have. Maybe in class in university at some point. I fell asleep on the subway once, and I end, I woke up at the uh, end. end of the other line, meaning I went the whole direction and back again. It yeah. was, was not my finest moment. Uh, it's a common thing. It happens. Okay, and finally, a newly proposed skyscraper in Saudi Arabia would stand nearly 500 meters tall, but it's not the height that's making headlines, Richard. This is pretty neat. I actually saw this the other day on my staycation week off, and I said, I got to do that when I'm back with Erica on the uh, Interesting Stories Report. Saudi Arabia intends to build this, a horizontal skyscraper that will be 170 kilometers long. It'll be called the Mirror Line, and will have a height of 100, uh, 488 meters, taller than the Empire State Building. It's so long that it'll sit on struts that take the curvature of the Earth into account. It'll also have a high-speed train running underneath it, inside will be futuristic buildings and homes uh, that will create a, a linear, linear community home to millions. They'll be fed through vertical farming that will be integrated into the walls of these shiny buildings. Residents will reportedly pay a subscription for three square meals a day. The mirror line expected to take some 50 years to complete, although the prince in Saudi Arabia wants it done by 2030. It'll cost a cool trillion dollars. Maybe that's the wow. future, Erica. Mirrored lines. Who knows? Nine million residents. That's uh, incredible. Okay. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. Glad to be back. See you tomorrow, Erica.